Hi there. <laughs> you noticed us, huh? Uh-huh. I make out your checks. Oh, I love a woman in a position of authority. <laughs> now, you ladies are not making this very easy. But we're not going to give up. You haven't eaten yet, have you? No. What can I do for you, Captain? Shut that door, will you? Yes, sir? This is a master key to all the lockers. I want you to go to Lieutenant Garrison's locker, open it, bring back everything you find in there except his clothes. Well, Captain, my guy's entitled to some privacy. That's not a request, it's an order. Hey, you like Rafe, right? Well, hell, so do I. But this is an investigation, you understand? Now, don't let anybody see you, and you don't breathe a word about this, right? Yes, sir. If you say so, sir. As ordered, Captain. Is this everything? You want me to bring the whole locker in? Okay, thanks. Like, I know this wasn't easy. Now, remember, this is confidential. All we had were red hairs from the baby's crib and a report that some red-headed woman was snooping around the babies at the hospital. Lieutenant Garrison had this. Looks like a cover-up. It is a cover-up. Garrison's been trying to throw me off the track ever since I started figuring out that it might be Mrs. Buchanan who snatched her own baby. Did he check in yet? Not yet, sir. Well, this is the last time that Mr. Garrison protects his rich friends. I know all about your fancy bar tabs. And I know about your three girlfriends. Hey, the guy's got to live. So do kids. Just who the hell do you think you are? Am I? Get off! Let me up, man! I'll tell you who I am. Let go of me! Listen up! What do you want? You know what I need. And you took it all away! baby girl. Drop it! Now! Do as he says! All right, kill her. I think we all just need to take a breath here, all right? We're gonna work this out. Work this out. <laughs> all right, okay. Gun's going down. You watch it? Okay? We cool? Kick it over here. We've got it. Anything you say, I'm gonna kick it over there nice and easy. See, and uh, what's that little thing in my bar bear? Oh, that's, uh, that's an eagle clutching a dagger. It's quite small, but uh, it signifies strength and nobility. You know something? I think I have one of these, too. I know that would be quite impossible. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me think a minute. Yes, sir? I got me one of these very same ones with the, with the little buzzard and the toothpick. Eagle and dagger. Hold on, hold on. Let me think now. Yeah, I was opening up a box of crackers. Okay, and I okay, up I uh, hope you're having a grand old time, but uh, 
Your pokey little town's about to become involved in an international incident. Is that so? Look, I can vouch for Richard. He is, in fact, the Prince of San Cristobal. And you are who? I'm a well-known doctor. You have no problem checking that out, okay? Saban. And I suppose you're one of them Nobel Prize winners? I'm a princess. Oh, I see. Are you sure you're not Lois Lane and your boyfriend here isn't Spider-Man? That would be Superman. I ain't particular. You can be whoever you want to be. But if y'all claim to be who you are, you mind telling me why you ain't bedding down at the Ritz instead of Red's old Roach Motel? I tried to explain to you, officer. We were investigating undercover. We were trying to find out who sabotaged this construction site on my island. Now, if you just try to contact the palace in San Cristobal, I'm sure we can straighten this whole thing out. And I suppose if I hold this here ring up to the light, it'll reveal a secret phone number? I... Can I speak to uh, my husband? You go right ahead. I got all night.